listening to The Announcer's Table with Daryl and Ian. This podcast is presented by RingIcon.com, the social networking site for wrestlers, fans, promoters, and everything indie wrestling. Log on today and create your profile, and as always, enjoy the show. Hey guys, this is Ian. I'm Daryl. And this is The Announcer's Table, presented by RingIcon.com. Today, we're talking about Gimmick Builder. And yep. we're talking about accessories for your gimmick. Yes. So. Uh, and the importance of using your accessories if you have them, uh, yeah. what accessories are, what they mean, and how they could help your character or your gimmick. Yeah, definitely. I mean, there's a million varieties of accessories. You can basically turn anything into an assess- accessory, you know. And so we think that an accessory uh, can help build your gimmick and help, inter- uh, you know, if you're involve using it right. the yeah. yeah. I mean, it it can help you know involve the crowd and get them to recognize you by one item. You know what I mean? Because some people they might recognize you by your face. That might be your gimmick, your your physique, your look, your appearance. That's how I get recognized all the time. Maybe, maybe, but <laughs> I. But then again, there's some people that just need a, a gimmick or I need a accessory to their gimmick to really set them over the edge. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so. like, uh, for an example, a manager or valet could be considered an accessory. Right. And if you have a manager or valet, you need to use them to their fullest potential. For example, yeah. if you're a hill, okay, you have a manager or valet, well, then they need to be antagonizing the crowd. They need to be, if, the, if it calls for it during the match... Uh, you know, kind of going after the other wrestler, getting the referee's attention if you're a heel, so you can do yeah. different stuff. Or, well, you get the referee's attention so they can do stuff to a right. wrestler uh, and stuff like that. And then vice versa, if, if you're a baby, they need to be pumping up the crowd, you know, chanting your name, slamming their head on the mat, getting people going. Yeah. You know, because that can really build uh, your character, your gimmick, you know, with the right proper accessory. Also, like if you come out with a chain yeah. or a cane, it needs to make sense. Whatever you carry out to the ring needs Definitely. to make sense. What do you think? No, I, I agree. I mean, whatever you do, it needs to be involved in your gimmick, and it needs to make sense to the point where, you know, if you're a baby face, you probably shouldn't be walking out with a chain because a chain looks like a heel yeah. accessory. You know what I mean? People are going to think that you're going to use that in a negative way you know what i mean unless your gimmick goes with the baby having the chain you know what i mean unless it it makes sense in your situation because every situation is unique you know what i mean but for the most part i mean an accessory can really bring out a whole new side of your gimmick you know i mean and anything can be an accessory that's yeah. the crazy thing yeah i mean I, I I know people talk about gear all the time, and you know, go to Walmart and you're a you're, you know, a trash bagger. You know what I mean? I understand that, but you could go to Walmart and pick up an accessory for your gimmick. You know what I mean? You could pick up almost anything as an accessory, and it you know what I mean? It could change your whole gimmick. I mean, look at Al Snow, it picked up a mannequin, mannequin head, head. You know what I mean? And, and it just and it worked. It worked for him. Yeah. Al's like the. Because I remember during that whole time period, he would walk around, everybody wants, and then they would chant, head, everybody needs, head, you know, yeah. I mean, and it, it, it just really works. I mean, you need, your gimmick, need, your accessory needs to fit your gimmick, Yes, is, is what we're trying to say. But also, your gimmick could fit your accessory, you know yeah. what I mean? Because, like, let's say Coco Beware, you know what I mean? He had the bird. He had the bird. That kind of built his gimmick. You know what I mean? Jake the Snake Roberts carried out the snake. I mean, things like that could really build your gimmick rather than, you know, you building the accessory to your gimmick. You know what I mean? I don't know if that makes a whole lot of sense. Yeah, it makes sense to me. I mean, there's just a lot of things you could do to really set yourself apart. And that's really what your gimmick is about, is setting yourself apart from all these other wrestlers. I mean, because... You're not going to get noticed as just the guy that goes out and wrestles. You know what I mean? Most of the time. Unless, yeah, unless you're, you're really damn good. Uh, yeah, I mean, and which is great. I mean, thank God we had those guys. You know yeah. what I mean? There are people that are just pure wrestlers that, I mean, they don't need gimmicks. They don't need gear. I, well, they need, I mean, they have gear. gear. But, <laughs> I mean, they don't have special gear or anything like that. You yeah. know what I mean? That could really 
build, uh, I mean, they can do that. There's a lot of people out there that can do that. But if you want to be recognized and your gimmick, you're not getting over, you know, with nothing. Think about adding an accessory. Yeah, adding an accessory. I mean, even accessories can be just entrance accessories. You know what I mean? Like a, a jacket or a robe. You know what I mean? That Ric Flair's robe, I think, kind of yes. built him. Yes, you know what I mean? It's kind of iconic. Because yeah, I... it went with his gimmick. Right. His gimmick was that of lavish, rich, and, and all this. And so what better way to be able to show off that money yeah. than walking out with different flamboyant robes every week? Yeah. You know, because people, like, especially back in the 80s and, and early 90s, when people saw him walking out like that, they're thinking, man, those things must be expensive, da 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 because not everybody can just go out and buy a robe like that. So, obviously, but the main thing is, but you can. think about Just go to Walmart, buy a bathrobe, get a bedazzler, <laughs> you could have a Ric Flair robe. He has one. It's crazy. Yeah. Pink. I don't understand it. But, <laughs> but I mean, the main thing is think about your accessory if you want to use one, how one can benefit your gimmick, how one right. can transform your gimmick if you needed to. Uh, if y'all have any questions or opinions or if y'all think differently and, and yeah. want to tell us something we missed, you know, shoot us a message. And Definitely. Let us know. I mean, and let us know what your accessory is. I mean, tell us if you have an accessory, if it's your... Because uh, I know, like... Um, CC Devlin, he's he's a local wrestler of ours. He comes out a lot. I mean, he's on our website. Um, he he always comes out with his leather jacket on, you know. And then he hands it off to somebody. Usually, I mean, sometimes it's a family member or fan. You know I mean, and and that can really build fan interaction too. So I mean, just think about things like that. So yeah, yeah if you have any type of accessory that you use and it could benefit somebody else, you know, what I mean, let us know and uh, tell us how you incorporate that. So. Yeah. All right, so until next week, I'm Ian. And I'm Daryl. And this is The Announcer's Table.